So I'm going to just quickly also walk through Parcel Locator. Um, parcel Locator is um, looks and feels uh, very similar to the other applications. Um, and that's part of the goal is to have um, streamlined experiences. And so you kind of get familiar with how these applications work. Um, for example, by starting by selecting a jurisdiction again. So I'll select Santa Monica. In this particular case, um, this is a very simple application. It's really intended to help you locate and learn about parcels. Um, uh, not generally specific to, to land use, but um, you can come in, you can start typing. For example, maybe I'm searching for an, um, an APN with 123 in it or an address with 123 in it. As I type in, it suggests results. And these results are actually constrained to the jurisdiction of Santa Monica. So here, when I click this result, it's going to immediately select It's going to select this parcel within Santa Monica and present me with all this information about this particular parcel. Um, I can do I can click around and look at other parcels that way as well, or I could enter an address or even zoom to my current location. So it's really a simple application. It's intended to expose that really rich parcel-based land use data set that I mentioned earlier um, in a way that um, like pretty easy to use if you're just looking for some information about a parcel. Um, this type of application was something we heard a fair amount about in our um, initial outreach with the pilot jurisdiction. So we hope this will be valuable. The other thing that's neat about these applications, potentially parcel locator, but this can also work with SoCal Atlas and even helper is let's say you want to actually link to this from your website or even embed it in your website. If I take this URL and I just add a URL parameter called jurisdiction equals Covina, for example, it will actually start already zoomed into the city of Covina. And as users start entering information, it will include only addresses and parcel APNs for the city of Covina. So this is a nice handy utility if you wanted to make use of some of these applications in your other workflows, link to them from your websites. Um, you can just pass in the jurisdiction parameter um, and that uh, hopefully will, will be of use. Um, incidentally, that process if that felt a little bit technical, I apologize, but that is um, documented as well through a lot of the help material um, you know, on the regional hub. So that's a little tour of um, some of the applications. Um, if we come back to the regional hub, we wanted to touch on Nexus Planner's Corner. 